Have you ever felt like you've wasted time searching for a previous Final Cut project or library? Hopefully this tip will help you out. Just click on the desktop so that you're in the finder and then go up to the file menu and select new smart folder. The smart folder is gonna be like a smart search that's always happening. So we want it to search this Mac and we want it to find any Final Cut library that's on this Mac. So click the plus button change the kind from kind is any to kind is other and type in Final Cut Library in this search. And then that's it. You can just hit save on the right side. You'll name this search. I'm just going to call it Final Cut. And we want it to be added to the sidebar. If you're like me and editing every single day, it's frequent you're going to go to this folder. So make sure it's on the sidebar. That way you get easy access to it. So now on the left column, which is the sidebar, we see this Final Cut Smart Search or Smart Folder, which we can click on at any time to see all of the libraries on this computer. And really this computer in this account only has two libraries. There's a Fortnite library and a Six Flags trip. These other libraries are actually the backups and we can use the path bar at the bottom to see this. Notice we're in the user called Final Cut Pro Help in the Movies folder and then in the Final Cut Backups folder. So this specific library that's selected is a backup of the Six Flags trip. And it's got the date, that's what all these numbers are. It's actually 2018 is the year, July 17th, and the time is there. So that's what those names are, they're just backups. I don't recommend deleting files in these smart searches, just a good way to find your previous libraries. So as an example, I had trouble earlier finding the Fortnite library, because I went into the Movies folder where the Six Flags trip is, and I couldn't find it. Well, it turns out if I click on the Fortnite library, we can see that it's saved in the Music folder. So I could actually go here and double-click on the Music folder at the bottom, and there's the Fortnite library. So that's creating a smart search to easily find all of the Final Cut libraries that your computer sees. It'll also search external drives if you connect those. So in addition to that tip, I wanted to provide some additional finder tips because the finder is going to be something you use all the time if you're going to be using a Mac. So we looked at creating a smart folder. We're now here inside of a finder window. And these finder windows, you can have as many of them as you want. Just go up to the file menu and say create new finder window. Or you can hit command N on your keyboard to create a new window. Use the red circle at the top left to close the window or resize the window by dragging on the corners or any edge. And you can also hold option to resize the entire window from the center point or hold shift to resize just going off to the, the right there. So that's ways you can navigate and kind of resize your windows. But know that almost everything you see in these windows is customizable. So as an example, the left column is the sidebar, the top is the toolbar. When we have an item selected, we see that path bar at the bottom. And all of these things you can turn on or off. Just go up to the view menu, and then you can say you want to maybe hide that sidebar that was on the left column. You want to show the um, tabs at the top, you can do that, and we see the tab bar that's here. Or you can hide those. So customize these finder windows so that they work for you. The other thing I want to show in this video is the various views. So we're in the icon view right now, which shows the icons for our items. And if I go back to the home folder, which is just called Final Cut Pro Help, yours will be called whatever you've called your username. I'm going to go to the movies folder, because there's actually some of the Six Flags videos that I saw here. And although it's nice to see these little tiny previews in the icon view, I actually want some more information. So that's where the list view comes in. The list view gives us these columns of information. So we see a list of the file names on the left column. We see when they're modified, the size, the kind of file they are. And you can actually click on any of these columns to sort by that data. So if I want to see the largest files on the top, I can click on size. And now that large file that's two gigabytes is at the top. Then we see a 300 megabyte and then it goes smaller and smaller as we go down the list. The other thing you can do here is hold control and click on any of the columns at the top and you can see the additional data you can add at the top here. 
So as an editor for video, I really like to see some of this media and this, this data that's at the bottom here. Because you, you can actually click on codecs and you'll see the codec then that the video was recorded at. You just have to scroll to the right side to see that additional column or resize the window. The other thing, these columns can be resized. So you can click and drag any of these columns to see the information in them if it's cut off. So that's really cool because I can see, okay, most of these were shot at H.265 or HEVC, and some of them were H.264 with the export of the Fortnite video, all without having to go into Final Cut and see that data. Now, in addition to the list view, you have what is, for me is my favorite view, which is the column view, because I do like to see the paths that these files take. So I can see that, okay, the video files that we have here are saved in the Six Flags folder, in movies, and in my home folder. But what I also get is the preview over on the right side. So when I select any of these files, obviously the little tiny thumbnail here is too small to really see what's going on. But when I have a video selected, I can then look at the preview here, hit the play button, and it'll play a preview of that video. So that was just a very short, one megabyte little glitch of a video, nothing I really need. So I might control click on this and mark it as red as something I don't need, or I might move it to the trash using the shortcut command delete. So that's a great way to look at files, but something that's new to Mac OS Mojave is the ability to view everything in a gallery view, which kind of brings everything together. So this gallery view is something that shows the little thumbnails at the bottom with a big preview up at the top center here. Almost like using Quick Look, but it's in the window, so you don't actually have to open this into a separate file. And then you can use the arrows on the keyboard, the left and right arrows, to navigate between these different files to be able to see what they are. And then with a file selected, on the right column, you'll see the information for that file. And this is one of the nicest things, in my opinion, about the gallery view. I'll, I'll usually resize this window to get a nice large preview, and then I'll click on show more to get the additional data for this file. And these files were recorded on an iPhone, so it actually recorded the GPS information. So I can actually see where these files were recorded. There's also the quick actions at the bottom. So if you need to trim or rotate a clip like we saw on a previous tip, you can do that right here inside of this view. So I hope that gives you an overview of some of the things you can do with the Finder, including creating that save search. I also recommend that you go up to the menus here, go into the view menu and show the view options and customize those. And also go to the Finder preferences because there's some nice settings here inside of preferences and the view options to really make the Finder work better for you. For example, the default is to open up the Recents folder every time you open up a Finder window, but you can customize this and change it. So if you wanted to, you could have it set to always open the saved search of those Final Cut libraries. And if that's something you're always going to, boom, there you have it and it's ready to go. So I hope this tip helped out. If it did, share it with someone. If you wanna see a specific topic covered, please leave it in the comments below or send an email to finalcutprohelp at me.com. Otherwise, subscribe and you'll get notified when the next video gets posted. Thanks, everyone.